Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about reading and interpreting electric and water meter readings. Electric meter measures the amount of electricity used. Just as you purchase kilograms of meat, grams of milk, or liters of gasoline, you buy kilowatt hours of electricity. This is an electromechanical meter. You notice that there are five dials. And inside its dial is a pointer which indicates the number to be read. Observe the directions of the arrows in five dials. The arrows represent the movement of each pointer inside the dial. As we observe that, the arrows alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise. This means that the pointers alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise inside each dial. In dial A, dial C, and dial E, the pointers will turn clockwise. As we observe, the pointer will be started at zero, moving clockwise direction, just like in the movement of the arrows in dial A. In dial B and dial D, the pointers will turn counterclockwise, just like the movement of the arrow in dial B. Reading Electric Meters To read electric meters, always read all the dials from right to left, starting from dial E to dial A. Read the number by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Number three. If the pointer appears to be exactly on a number, check the dial to the right to find out the correct reading. If the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number that the pointer is pointing to on the dial you are reading. If the dial has not passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. Read and interpret the dials on the electric meter as presented. Please take note the movement of the pointer in each dial, as you can see in the arrow. The rightmost dial is ones, followed by tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. This is dial A, dial B, dial C, dial D, and dial E. Start reading the dials from right to left. In dial E, the pointer is almost reaching number 4, but not exactly pointed to 4. So, we just record the lower number before 4 which is 3. In dial D, the movement of the pointer is counterclockwise, started at 0, and the pointer has just passed 0, and it is in between 0 and 1. So, we record as 0 because it is not yet reaching to 1. In dial C, 
the pointer is pointing exactly to 8. And if we're going to look at dial D, the pointer has passed 0. So we record this as 8. In dial B, the pointer is moving counterclockwise. So this means that the pointer has just passed 9 and approaching to 0. But still, it is not yet pointed to 0. So we record it as 9. Lastly, in dial A, in which the pointer is moving clockwise. The pointer looks like it is right on 4, but the dial to its right, which is in dial B, has not passed 0. So we record this as 3. So the meter reads 39,803 kilowatt hours. Another example. Read and interpret the dials on the meter as presented. So, what is the reading on dial E? Yes, you are right. It is 4. How about on dial D? What is your answer? Alright, the correct answer is 2. How about on dial C? Very good. The correct answer is 2. What is the reading in dial B? Fantastic. The correct answer is 8. What is your answer in dial A? Alright, the correct answer is 1. So, the meter reads 18,224 kilowatt hours. Next, we're going to discuss about water meter reading. The older style of water meters are those with small dials. It looks like a series of small clocks the train clockwise. The unit we use for this measurement is cubic meters. The rules of reading a water meter with dials are similar to the way an electric meter is being read. Reading water meters. To read water meters, start reading from right to left. Clockwise, read the number by the pointer on the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Number two, when the pointer is directly on the number, look at the dial to the right. If it has passed zero, use the next higher number. If the dial has not passed zero, use the lower number. Number three, record the numbers from right to left. Read and interpret the dials on the meter below. The rightmost dial has the highest value. We're going to read from the rightmost. The arrow is in between 3 and 4. If the arrow is in between two numbers, we're going to record the lower number. So here, the answer is 3. For the next dial, the arrow is in between 8 and 9. And again, if it is in between two numbers, we record it to the lower number. So, the answer is 8. In this dial, the arrow is pointing to 5. But, if we're going to look at the right dial, it is not yet past 0. So, this means that we're going to record as 4. 
In this dial, the R is pointing to 2, and we're going to record this as 2. And we're going to write the numbers from right to left. So, the water meter shows 3,842 cubic meters. Read and interpret the dials and the meter below. The rightmost dial has the highest value. We're going to read from right to left. So to the rightmost dial, the R is pointing to 7. So we're going to record this as 7. Next, the arrow is pointing to 1 and 2. If the pointer is pointing in between two numbers, we're going to record it to the lower number. So here, the answer is 1. Next, the arrow is pointing to 6. As we look at the right dial, it's already past 0. So this means that the answer in this dial is 6. Lastly, the arrow is in between 3 and 4. So, we're going to record it to the lower number. Therefore, the answer is 3. So, the water meter shows 7,163 cubic meters. We're going to write the answers from right to left. Today, most households use a water meter with odometer to measure the amount of water consumption. See the picture below. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.